Hi guys, Seamus here, back again. Bit of a supp supply update and a bit of a change out on the Big Red Group build. And this year I was going to do the new tool here from, to me, or not to me, uh, sorry, beg your pardon, uh, Altari, uh, the S730 Highline Scania. So I'm going to leave that kit, um, I've changed it about here, I'm going to do a bit of a kit bash um, to Altari kits, I'll show them just in a second here for the Big Rig. Um, what I did do is, went out yesterday, got a load of stuff, a load of painters you can see. Um, we've got our TS-13, used that before in the past. Now what I haven't used yet is Ravel's own clear gloss. So we'll see if there's any comparison with them. Um, slightly dear, it's a couple of pounds cheaper um, rather than the, the Tamiya. So we'll see how that pans out. So we've got two tins of it and we've got another tin of the, the gloss uh, Tamiya. Um, got our micro soil in. It was a bit of a nightmare trying to get this. Um, some places was actually looking twenty pound postage, which was ridiculous. So I got this one all in for I think it was eight fifty or something like that. There. Um, got another ten of our maker red. Done this maker red in what color was that? What color was that? The cobra. Not that long though. We got our some of our more of our two pack clear, clear K from uh, zero paints. Um, more clear gloss. A lot of other smaller pads and so forth. Got our X20. Again, we got that in a seal. We got the two of them for a tenner, which is reasonably. So we grabbed the two of them. So it was five pound each, which is really well. Um, the red is Italian red gloss, again from Revel. So we haven't tried any of these Revel um, or souls yet, so we're going to give them a go. Um, the yellow here is gloss as well. That was nice for this is for the. The build that's behind me, I'll show you just in a second. At the for the big rig. Um, some masking tape, um, weathering powders, and so forth, and a couple of other bits and pieces, as you can see here. So, I'll make a wee bit of space here again, and I'll show you what I've got for the big rig. So, bear with me here, and I'll be back just in a wee second. Right, guys, right, we've got this one. I got this uh, uh, about a year, but roughly well, last year at some stage. Uh, so this is going to be the kit bash for the big rig, as I said, rather than the scanner in the background there. So it looks a nice kit. And I've built a couple of Ecos before, but I haven't built this one, if you don't understand. Um, but did go out and buy some PE for it. Um, seat belts and so forth, and other bits and pieces uh, for the grill side markers and so forth um, and other bits and bobs make it easier for their seats and so. um, quite extensive decal sheet with this one as you can see um, never had any problems really with um, uh, Altari's decals now, what I don't normally use is these chrome decals. Um, this is going on to a flat surface. Some of the decals in these here, going around bends and so forth, don't really stick as well. And they do, they do not look nice on the kit overall when it's built. So unless it's really on a flat surface, it doesn't work for me. Uh, it might work for others, but doesn't, I just don't like it. Like so that um, sun visor out the front of the cab sort of thing. Because there's a bit of a bend on that, you're never going to get it down flat. It's just going to look ridiculous looking. And take the overall finish away from the kit itself. Um, you do get an extra tree with this one. Um, with all your chrome work, your spotlights, driving lamps and all that carry on and so forth. Um, it does come molded in yellow and the black. So I'll see it will be painted. So it's very well uh, detailed this kit. Uh, as I said, I built one before, um, the blue one, I'll show that just in a wee second here. This one here, so I'm going to do a bit of a kit bash, um, I like to know the chassis on it, uh, on the new kit that is. Um, I'm, kind of a, I'm going to think about turning it into a wrecker. Uh, this one also lights as well, I showed this before in the past. Well, anyway, we'll get back to the one I'm going to be building shortly here. So this will be the one I'm going to be building, alongside with... This one, now I've built this one before in the past too and trying to keep a glare out. So it's going to be a bit of a kit bash between these two. 
Obviously, we'll have to extend the chassis and so forth because this is with a single axle on the yellow one um, rather than the, the Ford has a double axle at the back. So, we're going to change everything out. So, um, as I say, I'm going to crack on with this. Now, I've got the stuff in for it uh, or paint that's the yellow I was showing you a second ago um, until the other bits and pieces come in for the two Escorts Cosworths. They're not being maybe to the weekend. And we'll get those finished maybe early next week, some stage, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. But in the meantime, I'm going to crack on this and get a good start on it. Anyway, guys, enough rambling. So thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you all later. Bye.